What's up, guys? I uh, got another logic problem today. Uh, it involves Cheryl and her birthday. This drove people a little crazy last week, so I really want to lay out a careful solution and make sure we all understand how to find Cheryl's birthday. So it starts with these two guys, Chris and Andrew, and they meet this girl, Cheryl, and they're like, whoa. And they ask her when her birthday is because I guess they want to plan a party or buy her presents and impress her. And instead of just telling them like a normal person, Cheryl gives them 10 possible days that her birthday could be. And then she walks over to Andrew and she whispers the day in his ear. And then she whispers the month in Chris's ear. And they're not allowed to tell each other. But after she does this, they have this dialogue. And Chris starts by saying, I'm not sure, but I know that Andrew doesn't know either. And then Andrew says, well, I didn't know at first, but now I do. And then Chris says, oh, I know too then. And at this point, most people are like, wait, what? How did they figure this out based on this one conversation? We need to write down all the information we know. So we have the possible days, which we can put in this nice table. And we know that Chris knows the month and Andrew knows the day. And then we know we have Chris and Andrew's dialogue. And that's what I really want to focus on because there's a reason it's in the problem. It must give us some kind of information. And if we just focus on one and two, then we're not going to get anywhere. So let's focus on the dialogue. We can break it down. It starts with Chris saying, I'm not sure, but I know Andrew doesn't know either. So if we look at these possible days, well, each number has a partner in another month, except for 18 and 19, right? 18 and 19 are unique. But if Cheryl were uh, whispered in Andrew's ear, like 15, for example, then he knows that it breaks down to May 15th or August 15th. Um, so it's one of those two days, but he doesn't know which one it is. But if she had whispered 18 in his ear, then he knows for sure that it's June 18th because 18 doesn't line up with any other month. Chris says, I know Andrew doesn't know either. So the only way that he could possibly know this is if the month wasn't May or June. If the month was May or June, then the option of uh, Andrew knowing right away is still on the table. So the fact that Chris says this means that we can just automatically uh, eliminate May and June. So Andrew's going to know this based on what Chris said. So now he says, well, I didn't know at first, but now I do. And if we look at the remaining possible days, it can't be 14 because if she had whispered 14 in his ear, then there's still two possible days that it could be. So Andrew wouldn't know. Since he's telling us he does know, then we can eliminate 14. So now Chris comes back in and he says, well, then I know too. And the only two possible months left are August and July. If she had told him August, then there's still two days to pick from. So if he knows, then it must not be August. We can eliminate August and it must be July. So we figured out that her birthday is July 16th. She played games with them, but they still overcame and figured it out. And now they can plan a party for her and they're excited. Um, thanks for watching. Look out for the next video.